Hello and welcome back to RC Model Reviews and today, well, a little while ago I thought, hmm, OSDs, haven't done much on OSDs, I've got the Arc Bird Pilot, I don't know, I can never remember the name, the Arc thing, anyway, I've got that sitting ready to go into the Finwing Penguin and give it a good try, as soon as I'm able to fly again I'll be doing that, so you can all see how that performs, but I saw this on Hobby King, it is the, something rather, yeah, it's the cheap one anyway, it's cheap Hobby King um, OSD, GPS OSD, and I thought, oh, it's really actually quite reasonably priced, so I wonder if it's any good. Now it's not that full functioned, and it's a, it's a tiny little, <laughs> it's actually quite funny, we've got this tiny little lightweight on-screen display unit, this hulking great GPS, <laughs> compared to some of the other GPS units on the market, it's really heavy and it's big, so, but it's cheap, it's cheap, and if you're using, I mean, this will, an AXN will fly uh, happily with this, so wouldn't worry too much about the fact that it, it weighs, hang on, I've got the scales on here, let's, I'll tell you what it does weigh, that GPS weighs 21 grams, 21, 27, I'm looking from the top, and now it says 24, so anyway, 20, 20 something grams, and that's quite heavy really for a GPS because some of the lighter ones are just a, you know, 10, 10 grams or so. But you get your GPS, you get this little wee tiny board here, which has got um, the ability to handle or measure the voltage of your battery pack and another voltage and RSSI, which is great because the key fact is when you're flying FPV you want to know, have I got any battery left, how much have I used, I want to know is the signal I'm receiving from my transmitter strong enough to give me reliable control, which is your RSSI, Receives Signal Strength Indicator. And uh, there may be another battery voltage you want, like if you're powering your, F your, your FPV gear from a separate battery, well you can check that too, make sure that you're not about to lose your video link because your FPV battery dies. So there you go. Um, handy little thing. Now, it also, you know, optionally you can have your GPS coordinates on there, and why would you want that? Well, if you are recording your video downlink and something goes wrong in your model crashes, or you have to put it down somewhere for safety purposes and you don't know exactly where it is, well if you're recording the video you'll be able to see the, the last coordinates before the video signal disappears and if you've got a handheld GPS it's pretty damn easy to find the model. It's really quite useful, so something to consider. So you also get a little lead, little piece of wire, woo! But anyway, I'm going to do a review on this, that'll be coming up. I've done a review on another low cost OSD option, if you check on the channel you'll find the really cheap one, I think it was about seven or eight bucks or something. All it does is give you your voltages, you know, gives you a couple of voltages and it's really cheap and easy to fit and it's actually a really good little unit. This takes it a step further because this will also tell you your altitude of course which is quite handy to know because if you're flying in or near controlled airspace, a lot of countries have a limit on altitude here in New Zealand we're stuck at 400 feet or below or less than 400 feet so and if you're flying FPV it's nice to know that you're not breaking the rules isn't it? We all know that. So this, um, I was going to do a full, I am going to do a full review on it when I'm able to get back in the air, but in the meantime I just wanted to, to read you this, it comes with printed instructions, it's a bit of a rarity these days, printed instructions, it just calls it OSD user manual with GPS M Moodle, <laughs> I kid you not, this is a good bit of Chinglish, I love this Chinglish, I don't know if you can read that, probably can't, it's probably, where are we, yeah, it's probably not going to focus, but it's, read um, GPS Moodle, wonderful. I don't know what, yeah, anyway, let me read you the best bit, I have to take my glasses off because I'm old, here we go, the whole thing, it's attention, it says attention, it's very important, it says, um, um, please, please use this product within reliable distance, do not let the plane beyond the view distance, then please operate the plane at open and no man's land, then it says please power, please supply the power in strict accordance with safe power voltage and use the low noise reliable power module or battery system, that's fair enough, it says please do not arbitrarily maintain, rebuild, detect or upgrade this product, that's good isn't it, then <laughs> this is the best but I love this, I, love, I don't know how old the FPV community is but um, I suspect they're either really really old or really really young if, these, if this is to be believed, please do not let the children play this product or put the product into the mouth, there you go because doing that might actually, if this gets soggy it might not work properly, okay, so don't let your kids suck on this, not a good idea, safety, important safety feature, do not let your children eat the equipment, I'm glad they included that, goodness knows how many children's lives we've saved here today, and uh, forbid to use this product at gas station and other places where definitely regulate no use for wireless signal, there you go, I might do some I might do an RC model reviews how to on this because if you're relying on this piece of paper you might be sorely disappointed anyway thank you I thought I'd just bring a bit of levity to the situation because things are a bit grim around here at the moment so I hope you enjoyed that little bit of Chinglish as much as I did and I hope you look forward to the review of this because it might be a really really cheap option to give you a bit of extra safety and a bit of extra information 
nobody to recover your model if you use it, lose it. So there you go. Keep watching. There's more coming. Even if I can't fly, I can still do this. Bye for now. Oh, comments on the bottom, questions on the bottom. Thumbs up if you like it. See you soon. Bye for now.